Hello and welcome to another update video about SUI, SUI, and um, yeah, we haven't covered it for a while, but now I can see a possible, is a possible five wave pattern to the upside. It's not a very clear one because this fifth wave ideally um, gives us one more high, but um, I can recognize a potential five wave pattern to the upside now, which could be wave five in an A wave, which then would result in a B wave pullback or a C wave, and a C wave rally afterwards. So... B wave, C wave, or it's a wave one, but that would be very bullish. So I would rather keep expectations more realistic and then adjust when needed. I mean, essentially these are two possible pathways. The pullback would then be a wave two and we can then look forward to a third wave. Experience just tells me that altcoins often fail after three waves. So I don't wanna, um, you know, create expectations that are unrealistic. Um, in the short term, though, further upside extensions in wave 5 are possible as long as we're holding the orange support zone. A break below $1.62, which is the 50% Fibonacci retracement, and also a break below the March low. Um, no, it's not the March low, but it's here the 24th of March low. Yeah, at $1.62 would be an early indication that a top of sorts is in place and that possibly wave 5 topped. Uh, whereas a break below 137, yeah, would further confirm this. Because even if we break below the 50% FIB level, it is possible that further upside extensions um, unfold. Whereas a break below $1.36 will make this rather unlikely. Not completely impossible, but rather unlikely. And then we would have um, more confirmation that indeed a wave B pullback or a wave 2 has started to unfold. You will not recognize the difference really between wave 2 or B probably. So that it doesn't really matter which one we're tracking. It could also take the yellow count of the chart. It doesn't have any short-term implications. It could just be an ABC structure I'm tracking here. And if it then turns into a five-wave move later, even better. But um, yeah, so I think that's sort of something I'm observing. Five-wave pattern. And then now I'm going to watch this, this support area here if, if it holds or not. I can tell you that, technically speaking, the requirements for this rally are full fulfilled. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can actually add a trend line here if that does offer any any value. Maybe we have enough touch points for it to be relevant. So I think a break about, uh, below the trend line would, in addition, be a signal that the top of sorts is in place. But then we can just use the FIB level, so it doesn't really help much. Um, what, you know, targets for Circle Wave 5, I mean, just to establish how likely is it that these are that this rally is completed. Now there are a few ways of doing this. The first way is to take the length of the wave one, circle wave one, which stopped in December at around 73 cents. Then we go with that length to the low of the wave four, and we're tracking for the 100% extension level. Now that wasn't reached yet. That means maybe extensions need to still be considered. That's all it tells us. An extension is likely upside extension because one typical target for a fifth wave is the 100% extension of the wave one that wasn't quite reached. So that could mean that um, we still get there. And another way of measuring targets is to take the length of waves one and three together, go to the low of the wave four, but then not take the 100% extension level. Instead, we're looking for the 38.2 or 61.8 extensions. Mm, that takes us to 230. I mean, we, we got all the way up to 222 or 220. So really, really close. So I would say this is still an area that could be of interest um, in case we form a high above 220. So we have three levels to watch in case of further extensions. And in case this orange support region holds, then we're looking at um, 230, 245 and 343 as the next upside levels because there is no no more resistance here, so you will have to deal with these FIB levels. Yeah. However, as I said, if we now start the pullback into this support zone, then um, this is something to watch between 136 and 162. A break below 136, 137 would confirm that the wave 2 has started to unfold or the B wave. Again, they are basically moving together. It will take much more time for these wave counts to, to diverge from each other, to take different routes. And then we have a main support area between $1.10 and 53 cents. Now I'm not saying we come down to 53 cents, but what we can do once we get a little bit more price data in this corrective pullback, we can determine, okay, you know, what is likely a target for wave two or wave B. You know, if we get an ABC structure, then once we have the A wave in place, I will put that onto the chart, 
once we have the A wave in place and the B wave in place, I can give you a target for wave C of B or 2. That's my update about Sui. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.